just a few minutes to introduce you to the Asia for Animals Coalition itself. Um, the Asia for Animals Coalition is the largest coalition of animal welfare organizations in Asia, and it consists of 22 core members, member organizations, excuse me, and about 300 network member organizations. Uh, membership is really diverse and it encompasses groups that range from the really big international globally known groups uh, to some very small very local grassroots groups and and all of all of the not every single organization in the whole network approaches every subject in the same way or has the same stance on every issue but what is really great about the coalition is that it allows groups that want to work together on specific issues to do so effectively um, the coalition acts as a filter point for Asian animal issues and we help connect organizations who could be working together. We coordinate working groups like this one, for example. Um, and every couple of years we hold the Asia for Animals conference, uh, which is how the whole coalition got started. So uh, I wasn't involved at this point, but the very first AFA conference was held in 2001 and it was hosted by the Philippine Animal Welfare Society. From that point until 2019, there were 10 further conferences. They were held in an array of places, India, China, Borneo, you can see on your screen, a variety of other places where those were held. Each one of those was hosted by one of our member organizations. And more recently this year, for obvious reasons, we held the conference online. Um, and that was about two, three months ago. Uh, and, and that was a really nice thing to be able to do. The in-person uh, conferences, there are some very clear advantages to those, but also some really clear advantages to be able to do things like this online, um, uh, you know, accommodating a lot more people than could necessarily make it in person to, to such events. So um, <clears throat> following one of these conferences in 2011, the Asia for Animals Coalition itself was established, and that was in order to uh, kind of keep up the momentum that that formed at these conferences. There was a lot of excitement, a lot of momentum, and the coalition exists to sort of keep that going, to 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 maintain the energy, uh, and to allow these groups to work collectively on on suitable issues. So some years after that, my colleague Sarah Grant stepped in as the AFA coordinator and started uh, carried on developing the coalition. And eventually her work gave birth to a number of working groups like this one, again, the Macaque Coalition. Um, and so I joined in the early 2020, I think it was, just about the time COVID struck us here in the UK. Um, and yeah, we talked about it a lot and had a lot of discussions with a lot of different groups. And the Macaque Coalition was officially launched, uh, I think it was in March of this year. So the Macaque Coalition is the result of a huge, the huge volume of macaque related issues that our member organizations hear about over and over and over again, and that we get contacted about over and over again. And of course, they they vary a lot from the pet trade to culling to conflict and more recently things like so, uh, ab abuse on social media and uh, selfies and that sort of thing. Um, a lot of our network organizations are trying to address some of these issues but we saw that they were not always working together on them or they weren't necessarily sharing information or experiences that would be really valuable shared amongst people who have common goals or organizations who have common goals. Um, we also noted a lack of communication between animal welfare advocates and primatologists and conservationists, even though sometimes everybody's concerned with working on the same issues. Um, to me personally, this is especially important. My own background and training is, is coming from both sides, from both animal welfare and primatology. And it just looked like a really big gap to me. And I, and I really enjoy trying to sort of bringing those two worlds together to, to work on issues wherever it works. Um, 
the Macat Coalition, we, the, the coordinators, are not here to do the work, but we're here to help you guys do the work, to help enable you to do whatever you need to do to help macaques, um, to make connections. We're here to facilitate the exchange of information and ideas, and we want to be a resource for all of you. Um, our website already has a number of different resources available on it, and so this picture here is just a, is, is as an illustration of our enrichment resource where people who work with macaques can, they can contribute specific enrichment ideas or whole enrichment guides. Um, and we hope that other people or organizations can draw on these and adapt them to suit their own situations. Um, uh, my own experience working with primates in different centers is that uh, what seems like just really standard everyday enrichment type of thing one place might not even have been thought of in another place so even the most basic things if anybody wants to share get in touch and I'll tell you how to share your enrichment ideas here um, we also have a macaque bibliography we have a funding page for macaque coalition associates and and a lot more so it's really worth exploring when you get a chance. Um, so this is our first event and we're running it ourselves. I really hope it will go smoothly, but please do forgive us if there are some glitches. Uh, we will be asking you for feedback in the weeks following the event and we'll be really grateful to hear your thoughts on how we can make the next one even better. Uh, the next one is slated for December and we've started planning the, the, the speakers and everything for that already. Um, so if you're associated with any organization or project that would like to be part of the AFA Macaque Coalition or the AFA Coalition, we'd be really thrilled to have you. Um, at the same time that we ask for feedback, we'll provide information on joining the coalition and how, how you can get further involved. Um, keep your eyes out for that. So thank you very much and enjoy the day i have finished a little earlier than planned but i will pass you on now to our first presentation <laughs>